Baby boomers are more sensitive than millennials, according to the largest ever study on narcissism. So reads a post on the Reddit front page with 22,500 updoots that links to toosaffair.com, which appears to be a WordPress blog whose front page is just entirely ads. This bodes well. Let's dive in. A new study, the largest ever conducted narcissism, looked specifically at hypersensitivity, a trait that helps determine how narcissistic people are. Its findings suggest that, contrary to popular belief, millennials aren't more sensitive than the baby boomer generation. In fact, it's the other way around. Oh good, it's also full of typos and weird formatting mistakes. Let's jump back quickly to the Reddit comments to see what the top posts have to say. Challenge one piece of their worldview and they'll take it as a personal attack. I'm mother news, water is wet. It's been an obvious projection from them from the start. The people constantly complaining about everything and everyone are the most sensitive. Who'd have thought? (sighs) My friends. My pals, my homies, what are we doing here? Are we ignoring really obvious red flags because a headline is saying something we want to believe? And then instead of just nodding our heads and scrolling down to the next cute cat picture, we leave a comment to express our agreement and give it an upvote, which spreads it to more people, to people who will uncritically accepted as well, and more importantly to people like me who are on Reddit just to relax and see cute cat pics and not get irrationally angry at people uncritically accepting headlines that agree with their worldviews. <sighs> okay, so to Tuzaver.com's credit, they do link to the study. Well, Sort of. They link to a Science Daily summary of the study, which then links to the study. But, okay, to Tuzafair.com's credit, a study exists. I mean, not the study that they're talking about, but a study exists. So uh, the first thing I noticed is that while Tuzafair.com's article came out last month, The Science Daily Summary came out in December of 2019, which is when the actual study came out. If you're like me and you think 2019 was like a year ago, allow me to inform you that it was actually four years ago. I know, right? But okay, fair, maybe not much has changed since then. So I scrolled down to the bottom of the Science Daily article. I find the DOI number. I copy and paste it into Google Scholar. And voila, I have the full paper or at least the preprint version of it, which is close enough for our current needs. And the first thing I do once I have that is control F millennial, and that returns zero results. Not a great start. But okay, you know, millennial may not be a precise enough term. Maybe these researchers used birth years. And oh, look at that, they did. The current study included data from individuals born throughout a 46-year period from 1923 to 1969. Here are what the generations are, according to Pew Research, who I picked sort of at random because there are no precise years scientifically assigned to each generation. There's just a general consensus, and Pew Research kind of specializes in general consensuses. So millennials were born between 1981 and 1996. Gen X, they were born between 1965 and 1980. Boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. And the silent generation were born between 1928 and 1945. Prior to 1928, that would be called the greatest generation, so named because Unlike the boomers, they weren't afraid to stand up to Nazis. So this study that we're talking about covered the last few years of the greatest generation all the way up to the first few years of Gen X. So not only did the researchers not separate subjects based on generation, but no millennials were even included at all, even by, you know, (laughs) the widest net you could possibly cast for millennials. Therefore, we can already do away with the headline. The study did not, in fact, find that boomers are more sensitive than millennials. What did this study find? Well, the good news is that 
it's still interesting. Uh, this study examined six different existing data sets of people to gauge their narcissism over time. Now, there are a lot of different traits that go into what sociologists call narcissism, but this study only focused on three of them. Hypersensitivity, which is thin-skinned, sensitive to anything that can be construed as criticism or an interpersonal slight, and concerned with own adequacy as a person, either at conscious or unconscious levels. Then there was willfulness, self-indulgent, and shows condescending behavior in relations with others. And finally, autonomy, values independence and autonomy, and has high aspiration level for self. You might immediately notice that the first two of those, hypersensitivity and willfulness, are pretty negative, while the third, autonomy, is pretty positive. Just because we think of narcissistic people as awful people, that doesn't necessarily mean all of the traits that define them as narcissists are bad. But those first two negative traits are considered maladaptive, meaning that they interfere with an individual's ability to coexist peacefully in their environment. Autonomy is considered the opposite of that, adaptive. The researcher's hypothesis, which as far as I can tell was not pre-registered, so there might be some p-hacking going on. Take all of this with a grain of salt. I'll get into more of the study limitations in a minute. But their hypothesis looking at this data was that as an individual ages, the overall narcissistic tendencies will remain the same, but their maladaptive narcissistic traits will decrease as their adaptive trait increases. And that's exactly what they found. As all the cohorts aged, they seem to become less hypersensitive, less willful, and more autonomous. The researchers hypothesize that the reason for all this is because we all start out basically as narcissistic little pricks who think that the entire fucking universe revolves around us, but as we grow up, we meet new people, we experience new things, we get jobs where we learn how to get criticized, and we learn that there's this whole world outside of our own wants and needs. We adapt those negative traits, we lessen them, or we drop out of society. That was the primary finding, but there was another thing they noticed that led to this stupid clickbait. They found that in general, the later someone was born, the less hypersensitive and more autonomous they tended to be. And meanwhile, there was no significant change in willfulness. So remember, they were looking at the greatest generation up through Gen X. This trend that they saw does not mean that the trend will continue if we were to compare boomers to millennials. If you look at the actual figure that they came up with, you can see that it's kind of all over the map. Yes, a boomer born in 1943 was more likely to be more hypersensitive than Gen X born in 1969, but their levels of autonomy are actually about the same. And someone born in 1923, the greatest generation, showed less autonomy than someone someone born in 1936, the silent generation, but they were also way less hypersensitive. As far as this data goes, the boomers seem to be the first generation to reverse the narcissistic trend and show less hypersensitivity than their parents. The researchers point out that this part of their paper is unreliable, urging caution when drawing conclusions from it as it compares people from completely different data sets in ways that they can't really control for. Just as it is important to examine predictors of lifespan changes in narcissism, it's also important to examine whether changes in narcissism can be attributable to changes in parenting behaviors, shifting demographics, and the relative risk of exposure to life events, some broader cultural changes, or another explanation entirely. Because the studies did not have consistent or, in some cases, any variables to operationalize changes in these variables, we're left with merely descriptive data on how narcissism might change over historical time. We view this as a major limitation to the current report and hope that future researchers can more seriously conceptualize and test why birth cohorts might be changing in narcissism. That two of the samples were comprised entirely of women is also a considerable limitation, particularly for the birth cohort analysis. Worth noting, because of the gender differences found in narcissism facets, it's likely that the birth cohort differences cannot be entirely attributable to the gender composition of the sample. In other words, samples comprising entirely of women were often still higher 
rare than samples containing both men and women. Of course, the differences we observed in the current study are likely the combination of substantive changes in psychological and demographic variables. Future research can have more balanced gender designs with respect to gender and other demographic characteristics. Does each subsequent generation get less narcissistic than the previous one? Maybe for some generations and for some facets of narcissism, but this study doesn't really offer that much evidence for it. It only offers us a suggestion that future research should figure that out. That said, this study does still provide some convincing evidence that allows us to respond to boomers and other older adults who complain that millennials or other younger adults or even Gen Z, Zoomer teenagers are too narcissistic or too hypersensitive or willful. Yeah, they should be compared to you. This study suggests that we're all pretty narcissistic when we start out, but the good news is that as we grow, we're likely to become better people, even boomers. If you think boomers are hypersensitive brats now, you should have seen them 40 years ago. Now, I have to point out that all of this is from a study that was done in 2019, a whole lot has happened in the past few years, and I myself have seen several boomers go through what appears to be a sudden increase in hypersensitivity and willfulness due to Fox News MAGA poisoning. So maybe things are worse now, but this study does give me some hope that if we can do away with the right-wing propaganda machine, maybe we can go back to that trend that seems to be quite natural for humans outside of nefarious influences, which is that as we age, we learn and we become better people. And I do hope that future research will show solid evidence for the idea that each generation starts out a little less narcissistic than the one before it, so that by the time I'm 80 years old and complaining about those damn kids and their hypersensitivity, I'll know deep down that at least they're still less narcissistic than I was at the same age. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you loved the video, please subscribe. And if you think the world could use more videos like this and you happen to have a few bucks laying around, head to patreon.com slash Rebecca and join an awesome community of nerds like the people whose names you see on the screen right now. Thanks.